From Fox 5 News, it's time for more Good Day New York. Ah, welcome to the Good Day Spa, where we're talking about every cutting-edge treatment out there. Now, Nacho, I know you're a model, and sometimes models can be high maintenance. I mean, do you worry about, like, fine lines and stuff like that, wrinkles? Uh, my biggest worry is my four children and all of my horses. I have to take care of my horses, so I don't have time for these things. All right. But I, I listen, it, they work, right? They work, and women, this is what Look we can... Look at that can. face. Look at that face. Jessica <laughs> looks beautiful. We have a patient here, Jessica, and Dr. Andrew Giacono, we talking about cutting edge treatments. Have you heard about this vampire facial? Uh, you, we were just talking about it. it's the Kim Kardashian thing, right? Yeah. Uh, you, you, you just told me about that. I, I looked at it behind the scenes. It's it's crazy, right? Crazy. So what happened was uh, like a year or two on Kim Kardashian's show, yeah. she did this vampire facial. And what they do is they take out your blood and then they use that blood. They spin it around. I guess they purify it and then they put it on your face. You I don't done? know. Uh, no, no. I, you know, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't sound great to me, but Dr. Andrew Giacono is here, and he's going to tell us the benefits of doing something like this. Sure. Hi. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Yeah. It sounds a little ghoulish. Yeah, it does. I mean, it sounds like somebody's <laughs> going to bite you in the face and suck your blood. Right. But that's not what really happens. So basically what it is, it's a combination of two breakthrough treatments. One's called microneedling, and the other one's do something called platelet-rich plasma. So what we do is we draw the blood, and we've done that already for Jessica. You already did that. You took yeah. her you blood, out. blood from where? Yeah. From, from, from her yourself. arm, not her neck. From the arm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good question. Good question. I know. He's a smart guy. I don't know. Let me see. So what we do is okay. we get a combination, and we spin it down, and we get blood, white blood cells, and then this is the platelet-rich plasma that has all the growth factors that we want to produce collagen in the skin. So what we do is... And it's different than what used to happen. We used to get this, and we would take a needle like this and inject it into the face, which right. we don't do anymore. What so do you do? What we do now is, is we go in and we draw off this platelet-rich plasma. Right. And this is going to be the stuff that we're going to drip onto the face, and we're going to make these little puncture holes with a micro needle, a needle that's so small you can't even see it with your eyes. So basically, so, you do still use the needle in the pores. Well, no, but we don't use this. Okay. We use this tiny little device here, and I'm going to hand this to my assistant so I can show you. Okay. You can't even see the needles. They're so tiny. Okay. And what happens is, is that this device has these little needles that vibrate back and forth. And then as I'm going over the skin, instead of having to inject it with that big needle, which is traumatic, uh, she drips it. Bring your chin up for me, honey. Oh, so you drip the blood uh, first. But it's not really blood. It's what plasma. Is it? okay. So this is plasma. It has growth factors in it. How are you feeling, hon? Good. You're yeah. okay, Jessica? No, it, it, you know, it's just a little tiny, tiny feeling. Nothing at all. Have yeah. you done this before, by the way? I have. This and, is my third time. And what do you think? You know what? It's really, really great for me. I can see a difference in it, and it's not painful at all. It's just the slightest bit of pain. I know that you've done it before. We have some before Get and after pictures. I don't know if they're of <laughs> Jessica or another patient. But you really say, Doc, that you can see a difference. Yeah, well, this is what everybody's using in Hollywood when they're getting ready for award shows. What happens is that it creates a real polish to the skin. It makes the skin look very rejuvenated, and it gives it a glow. So it produces more collagen, it resurfaces fine lines and wrinkles, gets rid of hyperpigmentation. And when people see you, they question, really, what skincare regimen are you using? Um, it does need to be repeated three or four times before you get the maximal results. And after you do that, you just have to maintain it by doing it on average, I'd say once every six to nine months. How much is this? Um, it really varies, but on average, about $1,500 to $2,000 a treatment, depending upon who you see. That's expensive. That's, uh, Did yeah. your wife do any of this stuff? No. She's a natural beauty, right? Natural yeah. beauty, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and, and what about risks? What are the downfalls with doing something like this? Because this is so minimal trauma, as you can see, there's really a little bit of redness She's in the skin. a little red. A little yeah, red. A little red, how, how, but there's how no bleeding, there's no bruising. How much time you have to do it before, it, before that red goes? So if, yeah. if, if Rosanna is going to the red carpet, mm -hmm. she needs to do this in the morning for the yeah. afternoon or the day before? No, on average, I like patients to do it about four or five days before. That's when they're going to get the most maximal glow from this treatment. Wow. Yeah, it's really fantastic. How often can you do it? Uh, you can continue to do it, I say, on average, about one time every six to nine months to maintain the results. It can't hurt you because it's not really damaging the skin. What we're doing is we're introducing those growth factors so we really get that collagen to produce and we're microneedling away all the dead cells on the surface that allow the skin to have that radiant glow. So, so would you fantastic. say this is better than doing like Botox or something like that? Well, Botox stops your face from moving and crinkling. What this does is it makes it so that once you have the Botox treatment, you can really maintain the results of it. So it's really a combination. It's more about less invasive treatments 
and doing them in such a way so that we can avoid stuff. That was a little bit, a little smarty there. Dr. Giacomo, yeah. Yeah. thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Really, really interesting. Jessica, you're okay, right? Oh, I'm great. <laughs> All right, good. All right. Uh, Jessica, you look amazing. She looks amazing, yeah, right? Amazing. Her skin is well, gorgeous. Well, I, 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 I can't yeah. take credit for everything. She's a beautiful lady. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yeah. I concur. All right. Um,